I'm Shannon from HomemadeLovely.com and I've got some great table setting ideas for you today for the holidays. Basically in this video, I'm going to show you how to set a holiday table in seven simple steps. Setting a pretty table for the holidays, even if it's just for my family and I, is one of my favorite things to do to bring a little celebration and festivity into our home. First of all, you're gonna wanna clean off and wipe down the whole table. Step number two is to lay the base for your centerpiece. For the table setting that I'm showing you, I actually used some very wide um, burlap kind of ribbon and then I layered on some faux fur on top and then another layer of ribbon as well. So that would rent right down the center of the table and made a really lovely base for the centerpiece. The third step you're going to want to follow when you're setting a holiday table is to create some sort of centerpiece down the middle of the table. You're going to want to make sure you keep it below eye level when you're seated at the table so you can see the people across from you. But it can be pretty much anything from potted poinsettias, floral arrangements, candles, all those kinds of things make great centerpieces. For this centerpiece, I started with a log arrangement that came with some um, berries and greenery already in it. And then because I like a full centerpiece, I added some more sprigs of berries and greenery and all those sort of things to fill out that centerpiece. So that's step four, is filling out the centerpiece. The fifth thing you're gonna wanna do is to layer each place setting. You could start with a placemat which I sometimes do, but I also really like to start with a charger. So a charger is just a fancy plate that you don't put food onto that goes underneath your actual serving plates. After you've put the base of each table setting in the form of a placemat and or a charger, you layer on the dishes that go with your table, uh, be that your everyday dishes or a fancy grandma's china or anything like that, and then you just layer those on for the meal that you're gonna be having. So a dinner plate, a salad plate, a soup bowl, depending on what you're having. Then of course to your table setting, you add the utensils and the glasses that you need, as well as a napkin. Step six is to add a special touch to each place setting. You can do something as simple as just putting a place card at each spot with the person's name handwritten or you can get a little fancier and a little more layered and add things like an ornament or a fancier place card and just add those to each table setting to really add that special touch that makes the person feel special. Step seven is to add festive holiday touches to the other parts of your room. So in this case, for this table setting, I've pinned a small holiday wreath to the back of each fabric chair. The pin is tucked in inside so no one's gonna get poked or anything like that. You could also decorate the side table or a corner in the floor. So don't forget about the rest of the dining room. And that's how you decorate a fun, festive holiday table and dining room in seven simple steps. For more ideas like this, go to homemadelovely.com and follow along with our projects there.